This video is not about the software manufacturers or the software that they're trying to get you install, but it's about the techniques they use to make sure you fully understand the little tricks that they use to try and get you to automatically sign up for a new installation of software. You have to remember that uh, a lot of manufacturers, software manufacturers, they get paid for installing other people's software on your system. For every install, they get a few pennies here and there. So uh, it adds up in the long run. So we're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at the most popular ones that are out there. To, uh, and then we're going to take a look at the techniques and uh, guide you through the installation process so you don't uh, end up with software that you don't really want. The first one we're going to look at is Adobe. And Adobe uh, does it a couple of different times. Here's Reader, Adobe Reader. It says, hey, install Google Chrome as my default browser in Google Toolbar for Internet Explorer. So it detected I had both installed. It first tries to switch me to Chrome as my default browser. And it also tries to install the toolbar for IE. Uh, Adobe Flash Player is the same thing. So unless you uncheck those boxes, you're going to get those installed. So you uncheck it, and then you go to hit your update now and go ahead and do your installation. Uh, the next is Java. If Minecraft people get this a lot. If you go here and click on this, you say, hey, look, a little warning here. But then once it's agree and start your download, when you run the program, you'll see that it prompts you to install a virus uh, protection program one of the ones that are out there in the market could be anyone uh, next week who knows who, whoever pays it so you unclick that box as well and say okay and you're off and running installing your job that you need uh, now i was looking for a, a patch for one of the old games and i've happened to find it here on download uh, dot com. I see that used to be download.com and see that bought it. So I go here and I say, oh, Indiana Jones and the Emperor 2 101 patch. That's the patch I need. Now these are getting a little more insidious. All these links don't mean a thing. You can ignore what's ever on the page and go down here to the bottom and go ahead and make sure that the patch is the exe. But now when you run it from them, they no longer give you a direct download. They give you a program that installs the download. So forget all that. You can sit there and say, restart from here, but you'll still get this program. So what you do is, you, when that comes up, uh, it'll pop up. Now watch, look at this very, very carefully. This first screen is fine. They're just telling you, I want to go ahead and do it. You're not agreeing to anything else. You're just downloading the installer, not the program itself. But now look at the second and following screens. Search Protect. You want to say Decline. Uh, Free TV to desktop, decline. One-click driver updates, decline. My my PC backup, decline. Now we're finally, only now, we're finally going ahead and installing, uh, getting the download to install the software, but we're not getting all the rest of that stuff. Now it'll download, it'll go ahead and install. You see it say install now, and, it, and we're done with that. It installs the patch, uh, or at least downloads the patch so that you can install it later on. But now we're going to look at one that's even worse. I'm going to go look for a program called Open Office. Open Office is a substitute for Microsoft Office. It's a free download. There it is. There's the Apache Open Office is the correct one, but we're not going to go there. We're going to click on here, and we're going to go look at this OpenOfficeUS.com. Uh, they provide the same free download that the other site does, but they do it by offering you all this other software first. So let's take a look at them. So if I go over here and I click on this one, I go to their site, and it looks like a very professional site, but you're going to find out very quickly that it doesn't do that. If you click on all this stuff here, it's five-star award and all this stuff, download all these different things that it can do. Uh, it tells you, it tries to really tell you what's going on. Now, if we hit the download now for the one for Windows here, because uh, it knows what kind of operating system you have, if you click there, and you go, okay, uh, I want to install this. So it says, setup.exe. So it's not downloading the file for extraction, it's downloading an in execute just like the last place that runs an install. And then you, after it's downloaded and does its all checks, uh, it's going to prompt you for a few things. And a few things might be a little bit of an understatement. So uh, it's run a security scan right down here, Windows is, uh, because I use uh, Windows uh, Security Essentials. It's built into Windows 8, let me put it that way. Uh, so we're doing now, we're just preparing the installation. So now it's, oh, the one point office suite is being installed. It's not the download from them. But look at what the first thing we get is that we get the installation type. Express us or that. Now look at this over here. Download admin. Download admin manages your installation. So they want you to install another program that manages downloads. So the first thing you want to do is not do the express because it talks about other extensions and does the, uh, does all these other things. So we want to click on the advanced user. Don't be afraid. It's not really that advanced. It just means that uh, you're going to have control of each and every step. 
So we're going to go ahead and click on that, uh, unclick that, excuse me, because we don't want to install the Office toolbar and all that stuff. And here's another one, Express Installation for Tidy Desktop Stuff. So we're going to go ahead and click on Advanced Installation here as well. We're going to unclick all this stuff here, uh, Tidy This and Desktop Weather and uh, all this stuff. We're going to get rid of all those things because we don't want that installed. So remember, again, click the advanced and then uncheck the things that you don't want. We're going to go to the next step. So there's also a decline offer down there too. Uh, you can use that button as well. So now if you say accept, but you're doing the accept of the non-installation. And now we're getting to the, uh, and, you select, and then this is Laturia. So the only thing you can do here is decline offer. So you want to click there. Uh, let's see. And then finally now, uh, we get to see uh, the installation starting. And we've declined all those different things. So now we're in step three of three. And it comes up and says installing software, downloading. Uh, so we're going to wait for this to finish. So I've skipped here to the end. Now it says downloading and it says installing, installed. So now what happens? Well, uh, pops up their site, by the way, open office. There. And it has these other offers and all that. You can just close this window. But what you've done now is install just open office and not some of the other programs. Now in one of my other videos, I show how Windows 8.1 can run just about any game. Uh, how it's actually a great platform. But one of the places I go to for older games, like I still have on CD to get patches, uh, is Game Copy World. Now, it's, it's also a place where people can pirate stuff sometimes, but that's not what I use it for. I use it simply to allow me to run a game without a CD. When I go there, it just inundates you with types of installs and everything. So let's go here, and we're going to go to here and say, okay, important notice, blah, blah, blah. Click here to start downloading. Well, you don't want any of that stuff. You don't want anything here. All you want to do is say, uh, click on the uh, Enter Game Copy World icon or button down here to go ahead and uh, go into the site. And when you go in here, you like this is one of those sites where you get everything is distracting. I mean, you got to be very careful about downloading. And you want to go right down here in the middle where it says, oh, go here and go to your game index. Well, uh, I'm going to cut to the chase because after I find the game, there's going to be a link where I can go ahead and click and download it. So I'm going to go find the Indiana Jones out there, the same link I got from another site. And when I click on it, I'm going to go do the install. Well, guess what I get? I get, oh, your download will be ready in two and download now. Well, look at this. It says download. This is a different, this is ODM. This is not your download. So uh, I just say skip add up here in the top. You notice that you'll look see a lot of these where it says skip add and the thing. And then you have to sit there and say, okay, now I want to download it from this site. And of all these other things, you do want to be careful that you're getting what you ask for. In this case, we do want this because it's the Temple of Doom or uh, Emperor's Tomb download. And then we say, okay. And we're getting that that extracted that file to extract. So there's just another way people do another thing about with that add in the corner about skip add. Look in the upper corners or lower corners. Look at all those to see if it's an add or not. They are legally you have to put some sort of uh, disclaimer up there and look for that when you're trying to do an install. Now we're going to go off now back and we're going to check the control panel to see if we missed something if something got installed. So we're going to launch the control panel. I'm going to go into the install programs uh, section, and you'll see here that uh, programs and features. Uh, we're going to go here and look at sort by install date. If you sort that by install date, you'll see the latest stuff installed because it's in reverse chronological order. And see if there's something there you don't recognize or something you don't believe there, some kind of toolbar or, or special software or something that's really not what you think it is. And you may, now, be careful. You don't want to install something that you need. But you should, all these crazy name stuff you see up there and everything, you should go ahead and take a look at uh, uninstalling that. So uh, let's take a look now at the browser you use, whether it's Internet Explorer, Chrome, uh, Firefox, Safari, Safari, whatever. There's always a setting. So we went into the ad, manage add-ons in the IE settings. And we come up here and we can take a look at toolbars and extensions. And these are add-ons. Now, you, like for example, you don't need Adobe uh, or Shockwave add-on necessarily because all it is is it allows it to run faster with its programs, but it slows down Internet Explorer. Same with Google or anything else. Plugins a lot of times will do that kind of thing. And uh, it'll, you don't really want them installed. Uh, some of them you have to have installed in just to run the program from within your browser. So when you click on a PDF. Now, here's uh, that was IE. So now we're going to go take a look at uh, Google Chrome. 
and we're going to go here and uh, let's see, let me open this up a little bit first and we'll go over here to the settings over here and go down to tools uh, it's down here somewhere and I can't seem to find it oh there it is tools and extensions there I don't have any extensions installed as you can see so there's nothing for me to remove but check this area just like we showed it in the IE so there's hundreds of different ways people try to do this install software in your system what's the most important takeaway is to take a look at not the terms of the, that you're agreeing to but what the terms are applying to whether it's the software you want or other software being installed so be aware take the custom route check take a look at every checkbox and decide for yourself what you need and don't need hey for more great tips from old guy geek don't forget to subscribe uh, share it with your friends on facebook or twitter uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to, which is what this one's going to be under. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.